Hey guys, this is Toro and today we've got Misty Knight, the last piece for this new Heroes for Hire team who has just come out. I'm pretty excited for this team. There's potential that it is going to be a legendary unlock team alongside something like Kestrel or something like that. Now I have purchased it with using my Amazon coins. So that way I'm saving 15% uh, I think it was, but you can save up to 20% if you do pre-purchase them uh, by like a big pack. Um, the link for that is going to be down in the description. So make sure you do click that if you are planning on getting her. Because honestly, if you're going to be buying her anyway, you might as well save some money. All right, I'm going to quickly chuck in my password here. There we go. And then we're going to grab her. Now, there's another offer here that I think I'm going to grab as well really quickly. Um, because I do think that these um, $1 for some orange mats is worth it. Once that eventually clears up here, this one here, a dollar fifty for twenty orange mats, definitely, definitely, I think is worth it to me. Um, this other one here is pretty good if you're a new player as well. Um, but once this eventually loads, doo -doo -doo -doo. there we go. That one's out of the way. I can now ask this one as well. Um, now, the great thing about this team is that they're not super tier four heavy. So I'm going to go through their tier fours. So that way you guys know which tier fours I think are kind of worth it. Um, I'm going to actually show you on Gambot because I think I've gone through them on Gambot already. Um, just so that way we can um, get that kind of shown to you as well. Because honestly, Gambot's the best thing that's been created for this game. Um, so... Yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm very humble, as you can tell. Um, so we're going to go open those orbs up. Uh, I've got some red star orbs saved up. I got pretty lucky and I got decent red stars on Colleen, um, as you'll see here. I got five red stars on Colleen. So Misty being a hundred shard unlock isn't great, but at least hopefully we can get some decent red stars for her as well. So let's open up these orbs. Um, hopefully we get a bit luckier than we got with Colleen. We've got eight so far. Here's a ten. Slightly above average. I think the average for these orbs is about nine. So uh, if we're we're below that, it's not great. But a 12 there. We'll easily, like, we're definitely going to unlock her. But it's how many kind of extra shards we can get to kind of save time on her blitz later on, essentially. Um, we're just getting, like, some mostly 10s and 20s here. Oh, sorry, 10s and 6s and stuff. So we got 66 shards from there. So I've definitely got her recruited here and she's going to be a three star unlock, um, ready to kind of roll, but we're going to open some red stars here before we level her up too much. I've got 10 saved up here, so let's hope we can get a bit luckier with these. One there. I think there's two people now in my alliance that have pulled six star Misty Knight, six red star Misty Knights. Oh, one. Oh, I thought I saw someone else before. One red star. It must have been that one that I saw there. All right, so... Hope we can get a little bit lucky here. Nothing so far. Oh, there's a purple. A four vulture. Yeah, not great because I already have it, but hopefully it means we can get a bit luckier on Misty. Or if we if we even get some red stars on Misty would be great. That'd be a great start. Was I was I really dumb and not checked her drop rates? Like, just make sure that, you know, she does have that reason. Drop rate. Yeah, she does. So I'm just very unlucky at the moment, apparently. <laughs> Two crystal. This is why the, the red star system really sucks, in my opinion. Like, the fact that I can just completely not get red stars on them, and then they're encouraging you to open the red stars at other times. Come on. All right, so apparently we're going to be running with no red stars on Misty because that was um, incredibly, incredibly unlucky. Yeah, not that's not a lot of fun. Um, even if we did have like good drops, like they weren't good because of the fact that Misty just wasn't in them. Um, now, unfortunately, I'm running out of these training mats here, so I'm only going to be able to take her to like level 62. I'm going to cut out the video, quickly go level her up, and then we can go test her out. All right, I went back. So that training mat freaking thing can't come soon enough. Like this is uh, pretty crazy that I'm like completely out of training mat still. I just needed to get her one more level to take her to tier 12, but oh well, we can't uh, can't have everything. So her basic, she's just going to attack. And then if she's got Dot Colleen there, it's going to be unblockable. And she's going to apply defense down there. Now, as for if this tier four is worth it, I do think it is a pretty decent one. Like always applying defense down is a great and always applying that offense up to Colleen is also great great 
Her special here is going to do a lot of stuff. She's going to stun and heal block. And then on war defense, that's going to make sure that it applies to the target with the highest damage. And uh, instead of the primary target, it will then chain to the enemy with the most speed bar. And then she does a whole lot of stuff against summons. Lots and lots of stuff with that one as well. Her ultimate here, she's going to attack, clear all those positive effects from the primary target and apply uh, ability block and disrupt. And that's going to apply to the target with the highest damage health here and she gets extra focus on war defense you'll notice that across all of them is that they do have a lot of stuff to do with uh, on war defense do a, basically a heap of stuff and i'm going to grab this tier 4 here 100 percent because it means that um, the extra focus plus the extra speed up most likely but i'm going to jump over to gambot now just to show you guys um where my priorities are for this team um so let me just switch it over here so you guys can see so here's gambot i'm going to quickly increase the uh size so that way you can see it better so tier four for the team for heroes for hire there we go so these are the orders here so iron fist passive colleen uh sorry luke cage passive colleen passive misty knight passive so that one there that i was just talking about is fourth and then misty knight basic is sixth because the extra defense down the extra applying the offense up onto colleen is always going to be helpful and then you've got colleen and uh colleen special and colleen basic the great thing about this team is realistically these ones here the bottom three here are just really good ones to have they're not necessarily like necessary i'm suggesting that they're necessary mostly because at the moment this team is going to be ridiculously ridiculously strong but realist at the at, like eventually this is going to be just these four here are the ones that i'd most likely be suggesting for most people so i'm going to grab that passive now just for that extra speed up and for the uh war defense bonus there now the unfortunate thing is that this team is a war defense team so it's going to be like we're not going to be able to completely test it out so it's basically going to be testing out animations here um so where is that team here down, 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 down here. Get rid of Kareem Goblin, who is just temporarily there, and chuck in Heroes for Hire. Now, as for the best kind of last member here, most likely JJ is going to be the character you want to use just to kind of make the best use of your roster. However, if you don't want to use JJ, Misty uh, and Misty, Colleen and um, Miss Marvel are all going to work well together because of the fact that Misty is going to be called. Uh, Misty's going to do the assist with Colleen and stuff and then do the assist with Miss Marvel as well just to kind of mix things up and make it kind of really fun. Uh, all right, let's see what we can do here. We're going to absolutely decimate this, obviously, because uh, we're punching down. Whoops, I put it on Sim still. But let's go in and see if we can actually do a fight here just to kind of see Misty's attacks because I like the look of like most characters. I don't think there's a character that I hate the animations for or anything like that. Um, and the thing that I don't like about, um, about these kinds of teams like Heroes for Hire and other war defense teams is that it's tough for me to be able to show them off to you guys because how do you show off a war defense team? You can't really because their bonuses only come from... Oh, I forgot to put her... All right. I forgot to put the thingy onto her. All right. So here we go. So we can either do her special where she's going to go attack someone and stun and heal block them or her ultimate. Let's go with the ultimate onto Punisher here. The charged up fist. Kind of like uh, Winter Soldier, I guess. Like Winter Soldier kind of attack there. Boom. And is she even going to get another attack off? Heal here. All right, here we go. And then her special here. Slap him up. Pistol whip him. There we go. Now, as for other uses for this team, it's, it's kind of tough to say. I don't think that Colleen alone is going to have many uses in other places. I think that she's mostly going to be a support chick for um, alongside Colleen. And if you are looking for red stars on this character, uh, on this team, like if you're putting up characters with red stars, then Colleen is definitely going to be the one that you want to be chuck most of those in because Misty, while she's great, like she's not super red star dependent, like her speed up, that's not super red star dependent. She gets like bonuses there, like 
she doesn't need the focus here either because she gets the extra focus already. Um, she doesn't need like the focus here because she gets the extra focus. She doesn't need a whole lot. Now, as for what ISOs you want to be using here, holy cow, I can take her to five ISO, except for the fact that I don't want to because I am <laughs> running out of ions. So um, she's 100% a skirmisher. Because she's going to be called to assist Colleen every time Colleen attacks, it'll be doing that classic kind of triple hit where Colleen comes in, attacks, then... Um, after that, Misty's going to attack and assist and then chuck out the vulnerable onto them. And then after that, Miss, uh, Colleen will attack again. And because Colleen's attacks, like her basic, applies so many bleeds, uh, it's going to be like, I mean, I'm going to chuck this tier four in here now because it's going to do like the whole, like the three bleeds every time she counters. It's massive, 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 massive. Um, definitely, definitely worth kind of putting that in there and definitely worth taking um, Misty up to here. Now, as like for this team, it's kind of difficult to say how much we want to invest into them. I want to kind of see them in action, but I do think that they're a team that's going to be worth tier 14 -ing because they're the start of this new war defense meta where they're going to be basically be incredibly tough to beat for anything that isn't like punching down at them and stuff so the more you invest into them the more they need to punch down into them or the more attacks they need to use on them um, so that'll be interesting to see how it goes but i'd love to hear from you guys if you've kind of invested into misty and how far you're going to invest into this team because it looks astonishingly great um, but that's it for today have a great day and goodbye